Welcome to the IBM Platform Computing LSF command line demonstration. This is one in a series of videos for demonstrating the load sharing facility. IBM Platform LSF is a system to manage large programs. These programs tend to consume enormous CPU resources, have large memory footprints, and consume numerous resources in parallel. For this reason, large programs tend to run well in a batch environment. IBM Platform LSF is the ideal tool for monitoring the system, automatically selecting the right system resources to match the needs of the jobs, a mechanism to ensure reliable execution of the jobs, and optimization of a virtual pool of resources. Platform LSF allows you to virtualize a pool of compute resources, network resources, and storage resources. By scheduling workloads, Platform LSF optimizes the use of these resources in the pool. In this video, we will demonstrate the manual input of LSF commands on the command line interface and then briefly look at some examples of the power of scripting for LSF. The pool we've leveraged is a set of virtual machines available from the Platform Computing TSS Wiki. Preparing the cluster is described in the Proof of Technology Virtual Data Center setup video. For this demonstration, we are going to use cluster one. Cluster one has several hosts available. Specifically for the LSF command line interface demo, we are going to use host A, B, C, F, and G. For the demonstration, we're going to use five basic commands. Load share identity, load share hosts, load share status, batch job status, and batch job submissions. As with our other demonstrations, we always start host A. I've already booted host A, have it running, and I've opened a terminal window. I've logged in as root, password root. On host A, type in lsid. This is the load share identity command. Executing this command, we can see the version of platform LSF that's running. We can see that the cluster name is cluster one. And we can see that the master is host A. The next command we're going to execute is ls hosts. Executing ls host, we can see that we have host A, B, F, G, and C running. Executing this command will show you information about the host belonging to the cluster. The next command is B hosts. This will show us additional information about the hosts in the cluster and which ones are available for running jobs. Now let's ask you in as LSF admin.
I'm going to submit some very simple jobs to verify LSF is able to schedule the resources in the cluster that are available. I'll submit more jobs than resources that are available to demonstrate how LSF will put these jobs on the queue and wait for the resources to run the jobs that are pending. Then we will monitor the job status as they are scheduled, pending, running, and completed. We will submit these jobs as simply sleep commands for 60 seconds and 15 seconds. To do this, we're going to use the B sub command. To monitor the jobs, we're going to use B jobs. We can see we have two jobs running one on host C and the other on host B. So let's submit some more jobs. Now we can see we have jobs running as well as pending. We have one job left pending. All the jobs have completed. Now we're going to look at the status of the jobs that have been submitted using B jobs and the option switch minus A. Here we can see in the left column the job ID, the user that submitted the job, the current status of the job, which host, the master, of course, one we're running on, submitted the job, and which host executed the job. Now let's look at the job history. Let's look at the job history. For job ID 464, the job ran for 15 seconds. It was pending for one second for a total time of 16 seconds. Let's try another job. Job 470 was pending for 23 seconds, ran for 15 seconds with a total time of 38 seconds. There's also an automated demonstration that you can use to show LSF. It's called the Blender Demo and will be found on the IBM Platform Computing TSS Wiki under the Proof of Technology. In this demonstration, LSF is used to dispatch jobs that configure the host with software packages and data needed to meet a job specification and then runs a series of graphics rendering jobs. The LSF dispatches the rendering tasks and the merge job change directory to blender underscore demo. In this directory, you'll find several scripts and a directory. 
Step one, install, is the script that's used to distribute the software to all the nodes that will be used for executing the Blender demo. The script determines which hosts are available to participate using the ls host command. then uses that list with bsub minus j command to dispatch the jobs to each of the hosts. Then using the minus f option to distribute the software archive to each of the eligible hosts in their slash temp directory. Then extracts the archive and all of its packages. It installs the packages on each of the hosts, therefore preparing them as a candidate host for participating in the graphics rendering. Take a moment and view the Blender demo video on the IBM platform TSS Proof of Technology page. In summary, LSF Load Sharing Facility performs batch job management based on job specifications configured by the user. The specification can be created using a user script as demonstrated. This concludes the IBM Platform Computing LSF command line interface demonstration.